everyone. Welcome back to Peekaboo's Journey. I'm sorry I've been away for so long, but as most of you know, I just got married. It was the most gorgeous wedding ever. It was beyond my expectations. And of course, Peekaboo and Basil got to participate in the ceremony. It was so difficult to plan, but it all worked out beautifully. Firstly, the most insane thing that happened was the weather. The weather was exactly the way that I had hoped. So when we first decided to have the bunnies in the wedding, I was putting out to the universe, please just make the weather 18 degrees, sunny, with a breeze. And I'm not even kidding, guys. I woke up that morning, looked at my phone. It was 18 degrees. Then I stepped outside. <laughs> sunny clear skies and a beautiful breeze i was just in shock i could not believe it i didn't want it to be too hot because the bunnies were going to be behind plexiglass even though the roof was open we just had the hottest may that i can remember there was a heat wave it was really really warm and i was kind of excited that the weather was good but also worried because the bunnies were going to be in the plexiglass the way that i designed it was that the roof would be completely open, so I wasn't too worried about it, but I was still worried about them overheating. It was perfect timing though, because they had just shed completely their coats, like so much hair came off. At one point, Basil just had like this little skirt of hair at the bottom of his butt, and it was so cute, but I was able to get rid of all of their fur. So once they had their outfits on, they weren't extra hot. Anyways, so about an hour before the wedding, I sent my sister YJ to go pick up the bunnies and we had kind of gone over everything that we should do and I just told her put some lettuce in the carrier case. For sure they're gonna be in Hanno's office during that time and of course they were. And so she just put the carrying case down, put some lettuce in there and they went right in. <laughs> then she brought them to my room where I was getting all my hair and makeup done and I immediately put them together into one carrier and was giving them lots of love. And then shortly thereafter, Dr. Beale showed up looking so gorgeous and she put their little outfits on. And then she took them off to the ceremony. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Veal. You're very welcome, we'll see you soon. Look at my babies. It's not the easiest thing to steer. And it wasn't too much later that the ceremony began and I was so nervous. I was nervous for the bunnies, guys. I didn't care about anything else. So the day before, we did the rehearsal of the ceremony and it was so funny. Um, we made a ton of mistakes, so thank God we did that. But um, Molly, who is Dr. Beale's daughter. She was the bunny walker and um, we had the carriage all ready by then. And she brought two cute little stuffed bunnies, stuffed animals, and uh, we used them for practice. It was so adorable. And we just had so much fun doing the rehearsal. Um, I was really funny. I walked right by my dad who was supposed to meet me halfway. <laughs> totally forgot about him so we all laughed and had such a great time but anyway right before the ceremony i was uh, really nervous uh, their music came on and they went down the aisle and everything seemed fine and molly's dad richard uh, he helped her walk them down the aisle too and help them get down the little stairs so it all worked out <laughs>
here <laughs> on the island in a retirement community <laughs> raising two little bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for always tolerating my crazy ideas about how to live or what to do. Therefore, I vow to always allow you to bring small prey animals into our home and to love them unconditionally, whilst they only return their love conditionally to me at mealtime. And to broadcast these experiences globally via YouTube. Okay, so I forgot a few things. So firstly, how amazing was that video footage? So my brother, William, actually filmed all that. And he didn't know he was filming my wedding till like three days before. Because we were just not sure about if we should get a videographer or not. They're so expensive. And at the last minute, I was like, forget it, we gotta save the money. And I asked my brother if he'd be willing to do some filming, but I did not expect him to make it look like a Hollywood movie. <laughs> but he's a professional filmographer and works in the industry, so wow, it just turned out incredible. So thank you so much, bro. Like, I'm just blown away by it. Both of us are, we're just so blown away by it. Um, I also wanted to say a quick thank you to Dr. Beale because she gave me the most adorable wedding gift ever and it was just a little drawing that she did of us and the bunnies Aww. and it was so adorable. I just, I love it. I'm gonna cherish it forever. And the last thing that I wanted to mention that was really awesome was that we got married on my mother's birthday and that was not planned. It was just the only day available in June and my mom loved the idea of us getting married on her birthday and she totally forgot it was her birthday so we <laughs> surprised her at the reception with this gorgeous cake. The cake was just amazing. It was made by a local baker named Kat. Thank you Kat. It was an amazing cake. She made two cakes, one for my mom, one for us and it was just stunning. So yeah, I forgot to share those things. Back to the episode. And everything just went so perfectly guys I just I can't even wrap my head around it my buddy Evan who actually used to live in this house so he was always over picking up his mail and we got to know each other and and we learned that he was a contractor and so he started working on our vet clinic doing all the construction for that and of course I asked him to help me with the construction of the bunny wagon so I bought this um, planter it's supposed to be a garden planter made out of wood got it on Amazon and I painted it all white and then I had this vision I was gonna put plexiglass on the sides and decorate it and everything and put this cute little uh, rhinestone knob at the top and of course I'm sure he thought I was crazy but <laughs> thank you Evan he was here all the time you know after hours sometimes till nine o'clock helping me in the backyard and then my sister Yun she came all the way from New Jersey to help me with a lot of the decorations and the planning and um, she just was a godsend with uh, my reception room and a bunch of other stuff, my party favors, but at the last minute she decorated the bunny carriage and oh my god, she did such a good job. I took some of my old decorations from my Christmas tree. <laughs> I had some like pinkish blush roses and um, some like fake eucalyptus with some rose gold on it. It was just like perfect. So my wedding colors were like peach, rose gold, pink, and uh, navy. And Hanno's cousin, her name is Kat, she did all the flower arrangements and um, just did a stunning job. And my sisters and I uh, decorated a bunch of rosy pink jars that I found on Amazon. And we had some hanging on the chairs along the aisle and the whole thing was just magical guys i just i can't say it enough it was my dream wedding above and beyond i'm going to remember it forever i'm just grateful that i could share it with you guys and that the bunnies could participate so i gave my photographer her name is deanna she's amazing i gave her a shot list as per her request and of course top of the list was to get bunny photos done so that they could get home as quickly as possible so we had this great idea to put a little fence like a bunny cage around the photo area along the grass and we let the bunnies come out there for a bit take a break and um, dr beale helped of course and she was taking care of them and uh, apparently at one point she said they were eating which is a really good sign i mean i know they were a little bit traumatized by the whole experience so i wanted to get them home as quickly as possible so 
We took some great little shots and then we got them home and my sister told me as soon as they got home, they just flopped on the ground and they were just so happy to be home. We actually spent four or five days away from home, mostly at the resort, which is only like eight minutes away from my house, which is so amazing. I was so glad I picked that venue because of how close it is to my house. And uh, my sister was feeding them in the morning, feeding them at night. And then we also had Jen from the vet clinic also coming when we were out of town for a couple of days. She was taking care of them. So thank you, Jen. Jen is amazing. She has been watching the bunnies every now and then when we have to be out of town. And um, they're just so easy to take care of because they have each other now. You know, if it was just Peekaboo, then I would probably have to have her with someone at all times. But because they're together, we can leave them all day and then just come in to feed them in the morning and, and at night. Anyways, guys, I'm exhausted. Um, I think that's all I'm going to share for today. I have so much still to do to wrap up the wedding, like thank you cards and like selling my decorations. It's been exhausting because my whole family was over. It was like a family reunion and it was incredible because I hadn't seen some of them in so long, like over 10 years. And one sister couldn't make it. My sister Yunhee, she's in Korea. We were so sad she couldn't make it. She's got like five kids and like all this work to do and just no time. And anyway, we, we spent a fortune on plane tickets and hotels, getting my family here. And there's just like no time or money left for a honeymoon. Maybe we'll take one after the vet clinics open. <laughs> but we are just so exhausted, so tired. But we've had the most incredible time of our lives. It's just been incredible. Anyway, thank you. I'm so glad I could share that with all of you guys. And I will try to make a video in the next few weeks, but give me some time. I'm super exhausted and um, I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, thank you. Love you all. Take care. <laughs> Bye.